What's going on, guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer. And, uh, I'm very sick. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but, um, I'm not doing so hot. Uh, that's why there was no video yesterday. Um, I frankly should probably not be making a video now, but fuck it. Uh, we ball. I'm going to do my best to get through this. Um, I have enough energy to be entertaining, but, like, I can't really get too loud. And, um, my throat hurts like hell, so. It is what it is. Uh, I don't want to take a break. And I'm not going to. <laughs> so, let's start with Slave here, just as a, as a little treat for ourselves. And let's bring along... You know what, Tedra bets with Gravedigger. Without Hamlet, of course. I'm going to give him King Lear. That's King Lear, right? Oh, it's Hamlet. Gross. Come on, King Lear. There he is. That's our buddy. King Lear's my favorite um, uh, skill on this guy. I'm going to bring along the uh, the staff and the medallion. Because I think I'm more... He like I At first, I took Slave just because I like him. He's fun. But then I was like, it's been a long time since I've done a Grave Digger run. So I think I'm more... I'm more uh, favorable right now towards the grave digger than I am the uh, than I am the um, uh, slave. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to start with um, I saw a lot of positivity in the comment section uh, towards uh, the modded run that I did recently, which I very much appreciate. By the way, people were asking for more modded content. <clears throat> I am still going to uh, be very cautious about doing modded content because while there was a lot of positivity in the comments section, the video uh, did not get as many views as some other content I do, which like I said, it's understandable because um, it's like this is content that is not universally enjoyable for everyone, you know, um, it's only for PC players. So like modded uh, console players, which is a large portion of the Skull the Hero Slayer uh, player base, see that video and they're like well i can't do that that sucks so i'm just you know i understand you know good luck to hacks and all that but i'm not watching this so i don't know i need to find like a nice middle ground uh between um doing occasional modded content and also trying to appeal to as many people as possible it's something i'm going to consider in the future but just know i did see a lot of the uh, positivity and i see you and i hear you um i'm gonna i'm gonna try and weave it in more but also, no uh, worrying to the people who don't enjoy content like that. I'm not going to do what I did at the uh, end of the <clears throat> at the end of the existence of the Dark Mirror uh, Mirror Meta, where I did only modded content for months and months. Um, that was a mistake. <laughs> so, no worries in that uh, department. I'm, uh, it's it's something I have to figure out for myself and uh, strike find like the nice balance to strike with you guys. And uh, I understand both perspectives. Because, for the record, I like doing modded content. There's a lot of really good Skull the Hero Slayer mods these days. Um, I, in fact, there was another one that was recently released that um, apparently turns every enemy in the game into a Dark Elite. Which is a terrible mod, but it's stupid and fun. And, uh, <laughs> frankly, I don't think I would get out of Act 1. But I guess we'd, uh, we will have to see. Because I do intend on playing that eventually. Also, Olive Tree Cudgel next to a Pot of Greed. I'm still taking the cudgel. Olive Tree Cudgel kind of sets this uh, sets this run down as a path, you know? We now have a build direction. And the thing about it is, even if we don't have a build direction with all, like, Olive Tree Cudgel is just good, is the thing about Olive Tree Cudgel. Like, sure, it's ability spam items, but it also doesn't have to be ability spam items. It can just be extremely dense damage scaling that has a really good effect attached to it. Also, shockingly uh, used, universally usable on all damage type runs because it has that 20% amplification, which also affects your magic damage. It's just a very interesting item across the board. Um, Olive Tree Cudgel, obviously, extremely overpowered. I don't think anyone out there denies uh, that fact. I'm going to take the Spalders for now, but I'm definitely not committing to them. I would say Ice Scale Spalders are one of the weirdest items in the entire game. I wish I knew what the devs were thinking when they made it. Uh, I'd love to see a skull added into the game that can use it. Also, I'll take that. So now we don't have to... Oh, I already bought treasure on the pedestal. But now we have giga treasure. And we have gold percent gain, which is one of the most important things you can have on a skull run. Especially if you're low rolling your doors, which I haven't been paying attention if we are so far. I don't think we are, but we might be. 
Oh, there you go. A uh, little bit of freeze action. <laughs> Occasionally, I'll freeze when I'm tackle dashing. Yeah, see, there it goes. There is the ice skill spalders. <laughs> there they are. Good ice skill spalders. Good ice skill spalders. Let's get another one of those. It's going to be a while before we see another ice skill spalder. Oh, there, see? Hey. It's doing stuff. Oh, I hate this fucking uh, aura on the battlefield. It's so bad. And when I say it's bad, I mean it's annoying. It's good for the uh, enemy. It's very annoying for me. Like, if, if they get that uh, aura during their ult animation, which it's looking like if she's going to get it. She's ulting. There's nothing I can do. Yeah. Not that it looked like I was going to stop her anyway, but, like, it's just, it's very annoying. Um, like, it, 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 it's not even because it's, like, powerful. It is powerful. But it's also glitchy. That's the problem with it, is, like, it just, uh... I don't think it works the way the devs necessarily intended it to. Because, like, it, you can't... Even if they're facing... Like, see? I, I, I hit the, the barrier there. Even though it was face, it was behind her and she was facing me. That makes no fucking sense. It's inconsistent. It made that fight take, like, a whole minute longer than it should have. Screw you guys. Um... I'm really not committed to either of these, but I will upgrade this, um... I will upgrade this. I would say... I'm... At this stage, I'm probably a little more invested in the slave. Now that I have the uh, Olive Tree Cudgel. Not that you can't build a mixed damage powerful um, Grave Digger. And like I said earlier, you can just play a magic run and have Ice Skill Spalders with you. It's no big deal. But right at this current stage of the run, we're a little weak, and I don't like it. Um, I mean, we have good item quality, so I don't know. I, we don't have any of the effects on my um, on my Olive Tree Cudgel Awoken yet, so that probably also has something to do with it. Aw, oh, man, they got it up. So annoying. Can this go? For the love of God. All right, we're chilling, man. Big time chilling. Give me something cool. That's kind of cool. Also, excuse me. I'm go I'm going to be pausing to cough a lot during this video. Oh, sorry. Um, it's not quite what I'm looking for. If I was going a more, um, I don't know, crit item focused run, then sure, Water Skull is incredible. And I mean, Water Skull is incredible anyway. One of the better skulls in the entire game, but uh, just not what I'm looking for as of now. In the future, maybe the run looks a little different. I see another one, and I'm like, hey, now that Water Skull is looking nice. It won't have Lake of the Spirit, though, which is a little unfortunate. All right, we finally got the, the Giga. Um, a Billy Spam uh, buff from this, which is my favorite effect that this item has, so. Now we're officially doing a Billy Spam items. Also, I think we're higher lowering our doors. Pretty sure. Um, I think normally this would be the shop if it was a low roll, so. I guess we're not high rolling our doors, but we are. We, we might be high rolling the doors. I just don't know yet. It could be a mid roll. Which I don't really talk about mid-rolls that much. All I really care about is low rolls. Like, that's the only truly bad thing. Like, if you're just medium rolling your doors, that's like... It is what it is. That's that's good. The only thing that sucks is getting the minimum amount of doors that you can get. <clears throat> that shit blows. Alright. I think if this isn't the shop, then it could be a Giga High Roll. I've gotten... Um, like, okay, it's the shop. But I've gotten, like, a, I had a seed recently where, like, I had so many doors. It was, like, the most amount of doors I'd ever seen. There was still a door uh, before the shop at this stage. It was insane. I didn't even know you could get that amount of doors. Also, we definitely don't want her showing up again, so we get rid of her. All right, let's see if we can't get treasure four in here. Also, we got a legendary to look for. 
or a prohibited book. Um, it's not like terrible. Huh. It's like fairly easy to proc with with King Lear. Uh, I'm trying to mute my mic. One annoying thing about this microphone is the mute is a button that is a touch sensitive like little marker on it. So whenever I'm trying to mute, if I miss it, you guys like hear me like tapping the microphone. It's so stupid. I don't get why they designed it that way. Um, Prohibited book I'm going to pass on. For this thing, which is just worse. In a sense, it's also better in a sense. It's not the end of the world, I guess. So much money. Gold per se game. What are you gonna do? Now I can just buy bones. Still not committed to either of these skulls. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these bone shards. All right, you just deal with him, please. I don't wanna see him ever again. Yeah, just be gone. One thing I should consider is like getting this um, legendary kind of sets me down a masterpiece route potentially. But it's like the Demonomicon was ability spam items. Which is like what I really am kind of got my heart set on today. And we don't want any of that, but I guess I'll take this for money. Why not? Okay, you're annoying. Brawler, Dark Elite. Let's see if I can't brawler him in or uh, knock him into the uh, brambles here. Brawler him into the bam brambles. I wish I could. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Someone should make a mod where I have Dark Elite prefixes. And I just run around with Brawler and I kill everyone instantly and see how they like it. See how they like it. They'll hate it. They'll hate it and maybe they'll stop doing it to me. Also, I'm really close to getting the HP boost from my uh, Olive Tree Cudgel. Uh, it'd be nice if I could get that now. Maybe a little, maybe on purpose, even one could say. Wait, I thought it was 300. Oh, it's 500. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm not taking 200 damage before I get the Yggdrasil because that would kill me. And that would be bad. Uh, that's an ability spin on him. Don't mind if I do. I could definitely see this run going grave, uh, grave Digger here. It's not out of the realm of possibility. Uh, this microphone definitely takes some getting used to. I just wish there was a real button under there. That's not just like a... A freaking, um... Touch it. Like, I don't know. I'm an old man, okay? I'm, I'm set in my ways. I like I like a tactile feel when I'm touching something. I like to... I like When I push a button, I want that thing to indent. I want it to, 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 you know, go into itself like a button does. I don't want it to be like a stupid flat surface that gives me no feedback when I touch it. And I have to assume it's working. Like, come on. Any truers? Like, come on. There's got to be at least some old fellow old heads out there remember back when things were simple simplicity man these whippersnappers don't understand it okay this is looking like a bad oh wait the the what What? Huh? What? So the th what the thing is, there used to be a glitch with wh where this could happen. 
where if you were rare at your rare rarity once this skill gets its um because here's the thing common cruel strike does not have an execute chance right when you get it to rare it gets the chance to to execute an enemy when they're at a certain hp threshold back in the day during the first few days of the uh, myths dlc you could you could cruel strike yiggy and skip his phase with rare slave where it, he has the the like it's it's added on to the skill like it has that capacity but they patched that out this is common slave who doesn't have execution on cruel strike and i just executed yiggy and skipped phase two okay hey fuck it i'll take it that one's on the house i guess <laughs> Hell's, hell yeah, dude. That's what's up. Glass body. And aging. We're off to the races, guys. We are off to the races. Incredible curses. It, like, actually incredible curses. Especially for what we're uh, potentially doing here. I'm going to commit to this Gravedigger. He's a good ability to spend my skull all of a sudden. I swear to God. This is what I mean, man. Like, I couldn't find the button. Because guess what? It's just a fucking smooth surface that has like an indent. But there's a lot of indents down there. On this fucking thing. So. Just. Come on, man. People act like they're, they're doing you a favor by removing features. It's like, oh yeah, now you have to deal with that, cl that clumsy um, button. That juts out like a button should. And now it's just a smooth surface. God, we were all begging. To have less buttons on things. It's like, who asked for this? Who? Like, how is this sleek? It's a button. It's like one of the most basic human inventions. We've been doing it for eons. It just... Screw you, man. Fucking cavemen knew the value of a button. Also, we got Othello as our uh, second character here. Uh, oh, yeah, we can't get Gatling Gun because we have Glass Body. <laughs> but I should have been Gatling Gun there. I'm a fucking bozo for uh, letting that happen. Also, don't worry. Don't get your knickers in a twist, guys. I'm going to get the HP Orb. I don't know why I went up here first, but... <laughs> you can get your knickers in a twist about that. That's fair. Like, why did I do that? I don't know. I wanted to. <laughs> what of it? Got a problem? Also, we're going to have a lot of money for this shop, I think. At this current uh, rate. We're only getting money rooms. Which is both good and bad. At least my shop is going to be powerful. Get his ass, get his ass. Oh, he went flying out of that. Wow. It's like freezing him gave him like confidence. Gave him some speed. I almost missed this treasure chest because it's like hidden behind all the graves. Alright, we don't have as much money as I thought we would, sadly. All right, RNG, just take the wheel. Give me good shit, please. That's good. I'll take that. Happily. Treasure four. It's that simple. Also, this is good too. Um, Spalders can go. This is good. It's not looking likely for Masterpiece. But it's not impossible from here to go Masterpiece. Do I skip the Masterpiece? Maybe. But I'd like to hold on for a little bit longer, I think. There is... 
now that we have the olive tree cudgel no matter what this run turns into there is reason to go uh, mixed damage because the olive tree cudgel in and of itself is justification but i'm going to be looking for um <clears throat> stuff like uh uh, Manatech Gravity Generator. That's like a big one. In fact, let's see here. Oh yeah, I have more than enough if I want to refresh. But I also, I do like Victory Baton. It's really nice. How much does this refresh cost? 760? I think I'm just going to say fuck it. And, uh, and take this. Could be an easy come, easy go Treasure 4 scenario. You know what, sure. Easy come, easy go, treasure for it. Hardly knew ye. You would have been great, but we don't need you. We got high roll doors. Uh, we got freaking um, good item quality as well. Like the item quality is already really high on this build, so. Don't forget this bozo running around over here. I guess shit don't stink, but it does. Or her. I don't, I, it's hard to tell with that character. Yeah, I really can't tell. Why are they so little? Is it like a child? Am I... No, it can't be. It can't be. They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that. That's psychotic. <laughs> um, We could... This is the start to Masterpiece, potentially. There's also this, which puts me back on treasure four. And it also gives me arms. I think Masterpiece can go. Masterpiece can take a hike. We tried to make it work. And ultimately decided, mm, mm, nah. I'm gonna have to go with a with a gnaw on that one. Also, what's up, Harvey? Give me those bone shards. Thank you. Ah yes, I know you guys are coming. You think you're slick. You think you're you you got me. You're like, oh, we tricked him. He didn't know. No, I knew. I know how annoying this room is. I've played it probably a hundred. I was about to say a thousand. 500 times. Let's go with 500 times. Even that's probably a bit of an overstatement. I don't know how many runs I've played since the Dark Mirror was introduced. A lot. I just don't know exactly how many. Can I execute this guy? The thing, it's like I'm common. I just don't understand how I can execute. No. Did not execute him. It's a very extremely hyper specific uh, Yggdrasil glitch. It's very odd. Also, I will take a Mage's Mana Bracelet. Thank you very much. And that is a Reaper. Bye bye to our slave. Hello to our salvation. It's Reaping time. You guys wanted a Reaper run. I've seen people talking about it. They're like, oh, Hex, it's been a while. It's been a while, man. Really like to see a Reaper run soon. Well, here it is. Enjoy. Now, as I always say, with Reaper, it's very easy to get hung up on the value of uh, farming souls. Like, taking every min-max possible and um, putting your run in jeopardy just so you can get as many souls as possible. But the real thing about Reaper, the only thing that really matters with this guy is getting his soul count to 150. And once you get it to 150, it's fine. Like, that's all you need. And then it's over. Everything on top of that's just gravy. And gravy's good. Mm -mm -mm. You love the gravy is a delicious treat, but it's still just gravy. Good analogy, right? Every, every time I say that analogy, everyone's like, dude, Hexer, you're popping off. You're like a poet. But still, occasionally, you know, farm, you know, just do it when it makes sense. Don't force it. Like, right here, perfect time to farm. Even though I don't think I'm going to kill any of these guys. I need to glob them up and hurt hurt them. I get these guys lower. 
even from here, I don't think I um, reap anyone but the little guys. Nope, I got them all. Oh, nice. Already at 31. But for the rest of these, I'm just going to kill them because I don't want this uh, run to be three hours long. And also, like I said, you don't need that gravy, even if it's good. Uh, there's a lot of little guys down here, I think. Nope, I lied. Uh, there's a lot of little guys up there after I kill these guys down here, though. There's also a dark lead up there. This is me getting a little hung up on the soul farming, but um, oh, like I said, sometimes it just makes sense. We're at 39. We're making good headway. Also, I kind of want to get rid of this ability, even though we have the best reaper ability, at least arguably, which is the rift that uh, what's what it called? Yeah, a uh, fissure of the netherworld. In my opinion, the best Reaper ability. Um, there are points to be made about the one that's just like a slash, like that goes like sweet, and then he does like the anime slash where he says Ome wa Shinderu, and then they're already dead. Um, and we can uh, grab that, grab this. Now give me like a. That's an ability spam item, technically. Is it what we're looking for? Probably. It works. Now a mutant's really important. I'm glad I picked up that victory baton. Starting to get a better feel for where that mute button is. Um, It could be time to say goodbye to this. But like at the same time... Uh, there's so many, uh, it could be a, a bit of a situation where we lean out of mixed damage a little. But I do like having, um, if anything, maybe I get rid of the solar sword. But man, these inscriptions though, that actually gives me mana cycle. All right, all right, I've been convinced. You got me. You, you drive a hard bargain. But I'm a reasonable man. Also, we're going to want to farm down there, so... See if I can't get these two isolated. I like how the cart gave me a soul. That's a very interesting world that, these, uh, that Carleon finds itself in, where the carts have souls. It's like Toy Story. All right, y'all, come here. Yes. Now we're at 50, the first upgrade of uh, three. And we're, we're, we're in act two. Like, we're, we're definitely finishing this off. Like, we got this. I've seen some psychotic videos of people, like, farming Reaper Souls up to, like, 10,000 off of the maids. It's like, you're insane. What is the point in that? Now, hey, pop off King and all that. You do you. Also, man, dude, it is Soul City. Oh, my. Oh, it's Soul City. It is Soul City. I don't think I've ever seen so many souls. Oh. Oh, and they just keep coming. We're going to be at 100. We're going to be at 100. I'm tired of you, though. I don't even care that there's a cannon here. Go on. Make cannon. See if I care. I'm at 100 souls. In fact, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm a little soul crazed right now, if you can't tell. All right, now I'm done. I'll, I'll stop now. I'm a little... Now I'm a little consoined. All right, beautiful. We are at 113 all of a sudden. All it took is one room. Last chance to swap. I'm happy with my Grave Digger. We're committing. But wasn't that beautiful, guys? Just one little uh, farming pop-off. That's all it took. One little pop-off. Now look at us. Rolling with the big dogs. Also, you're dead, Leon. Actually, I shouldn't say that. The Leon sisters could mess me up. Always take them seriously. They're scary. 
I was about to get all cocky. I caught myself. Though, I mean, look at us. We do have iframes. Uh, she's dead, right? There's nothing I can do. <laughs> she's dead. Which is fine. Uh, this is not a run where I'm super worried about riding the carousel. I think we're doing enough damage. Yeah, I think we're good. That's my iframes. I need to be more careful pressing that button. Also, would just love to get her soul. I don't think there's anything I'd like more. Alright, here comes her uh, giga move. Just press the iframe button. Also, don't swap. Like I said, I want to get her soul. Oh, we're big though. Yeah, we're fine. And no soul for me. However, easy fight. So I guess, uh, you know what? That is like, it's like a soul replenisher for me in real life. To have a easy Liana sisters, because I hate these two. I really do. They're horrible. And there's nothing in here. Technically, this is alright, but it's not what I'm looking for, so I'm just gonna break the legendary. Get myself some money. Alright, what do we get for dark abilities? Because we're already freaking nutty with our. And it's shyness. Well, now uh, swap farming is very dangerous. You have to take rooms very seriously. I say as I swap to my Gravedigger. For one, to upgrade him. But also, I I'm in preparation to swap farm in this first room. Uh, if we can get the 150, then I just don't care anymore. But also, I don't know, guys. I'm starting to kind of get a craving. Also, I forgot to upgrade my Arachnid Scaling. This isn't even a good swap farm room anyway. I'll take this room very seriously. But I'm getting kind of a, gra a craving for some gravy. I don't know about you guys. It's like the hunger is setting in. And really? Re Wait, did I stop the ultimate golem? No, I did not. Here he comes. Thankfully, the freeze is near death. All right, we got a soul. Okay, this is getting a little gnarly. Gotta say. All right, we're fine. Shyness always makes rooms very tense. You gotta be very careful with Shyness. Very scary dark ability. Very powerful, but very scary. Bye. 120. Uh, I did not mean to press this. <laughs> oh god, now we got missiles. I don't think I could have killed him before he shot a missile regardless, but... Alright, what do we got? Oh, there it is. Manatech Gravity Generator. Perfect. Ah, oh, man, but the choice I have to make here is hard. Oh, if I'm looking for... For one, we don't have treasure... We don't have treasure for, so I think I can ditch this. We're looking for a lunar ring is the thing. If I can get my hands on a lunar ring, ditching that is super worth. And there it is. I saw it in my mind's eye, guys. All right. This is a good mixed damage run. Very good mixed damage run. We got perfect inscription so far. It's looking like a good apple run, which, hey, I love me some apples. Maybe an enhanced inscription will come along and show itself down the line. Who's to say? Sadly, only one soul in this whole room. Swap to our grave digger real quick and prepare ourselves for a swap farm. This is a fine swap farming uh, opportunity. I'm going to go over here first and instantly swap over here. Get me some souls. Deal with the Frieza early, which is not normally how I do this room, but I'm being very greedy. A lot of little guys spawn in once I kill this Dark Elite. Yeah. And I missed them all. Nice. You love to see it. Them. 
And we're at 130. Okay, we're close. Souls are about to have still meaning, of course, because it is stat scaling. But um, they're about to lose a lot of their value. As soon as I get this upgraded to 150, it's like, uh, who cares? At that point, who cares? Also, huge swap farming room. And they lived. Okay, nice. <laughs> you love to see it, really. That was my plan all along. Little did they know they fell into my trap. Uh, I should have saved that for the Frieza. <laughs> Get swapped farmed, you dumbass Dark Elite. You think you're smart? You think you're cool? You're not. You're lame. And even if you were cool, you're lamer than me, so. We're only four off. Another soul just coming out of the clear blue nothing. Adventures? Um... We'll swap in the Grave Digger to start this off. Just get King Lear's coming out the wazoo. Remember what I always say about um about Summoner Skulls? They have like the very unique value of being able to play two skulls at once. Because like here I have all my Grave Digger minions out. They're doing stuff. Now I'm out as my uh, Reaper. And guess what? These are still doing stuff. And the whole purpose of... um. Of swapping skulls is to create minions so the way i look at it and i i think i'm correct in saying this is whenever you're out as a oh my god what are these legendaries whenever you're out as a uh i didn't even check to see if that was the good yaksha which i should have i wouldn't have used, actually no i would have used them it's a billy spam items if that was the good yaksha i just fucked up i would have gotten rid of the grave digger for that but um the way i look at it is you're playing two skulls at once whenever you have a swaps or a uh a summoner skull and you swap into your partner skull and it's like when you when you're playing two skulls at once and your partner skull is reaper it's like man dude you're you're fucking popping off like you know what's up also uh something else i wanted to say is um uh, there's the added benefit of whenever you're playing gravedigger and reaper is your damage percent is actively calculated depending on what skull you're out as and um you're, you're doing Gravedigger's uh, skill damage, like with the uh, with the minions, but with Reaper's active damage percent. Also, if you notice now, we are officially at 150. But the, the significance there is whenever you you uh, you cast your swaps as uh, as Reaper, and then you swap out into or, or you cast your your minions and you swap out into your um, your uh, Reaper, is you're doing like. Uh, Gravedigger uh, attacks with Reaper damage percent, which is huge. It's so much more than just doing it with a uh, regular old uh, Gravedigger. So basically moving forward, my modus operandi is swap out into uh, Gravedigger, put a bunch of swaps down, then as quickly as possible swap back into the, um, swap back into the uh, Reaper. It doesn't work in a room like this though, because it's just a giant room that's very vertical. And as we all know, Gravedigger can't look up. It's impossible. Find me a Gravedigger who can look up. Pro tip, you can. The only one who can come close is Othello. Ugh. Not only am I sick, but I'm tired too. Ugh. Uh, also, that is a Medusa. Don't mind if I do. I don't think I can fit something like this. In fact, in terms of items, there's not too much more I can really fit on this build, I don't think. It's kind of perfect. I'm also noticing how low my damage percent is. So what I think I'm going to end up doing is instead of scaling my max HP, I'm going to scale my damage percent. Oh, also we need to die, don't we? We don't have, um, last, res we don't have, uh, yeah, last resistance. Hmm, that's a bit of a problem. I could lose reassembly on purpose. But that's kind of unhinged. I don't feel like you need the, the amp. It's only 20% amp, right? Yeah. You don't need the amp badly enough more than you need the uh, reassembly. At least me, personally. Like, you might not, but 
I like the safety and security of reassembly because it means I don't have to record twice that day potentially. It's definitely a, a disparity between like a content creator POV where it's like I'm sick and tired and I don't want to record twice today. So like, you know, if I was playing solo, I'd probably uh, lose my reassembly on purpose because I'm confident in my ability to win without it. But like, what if something fucked up happens? Like, what if I get caught? What if I get like, say, the, the fucking Huntress as the Act 4 adventurer and she just destroys me? Like, anything can happen. And in that case, the reassembly activates anyway. And I get the bonus in a legitimate way where I actually used my reassembly instead of getting rid of it. Also, what the fuck is, what am I doing? <laughs> I've wasted that Medusa. Alright, this should be Chimera. Yup. Is there any NPC we're looking for? The remaining one. Wait! But that's fine, actually. Actually, we got the exact abilities I wanted. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. At all. That was a autopilot. I was just kind of like clicking through. But like it actually worked out because now my abilities are better. And frankly... I think the the iframe skill, even though it's iframes and I love iframes, I think it's easily Reaper's worst skill. A lot of people say it's guillotine, but I think guillotine's actually pretty damn good. Um, it just the uh, the animation on the iframe like dash is too slow. Also, notice how much more damage my. Uh, my gravedigger is doing than my freaking uh, reaver. Put some respect on freaking gravedigger's name for the love of God. Though obviously, we just destroyed. Also, what feat did we just unlock? The three bosses. I don't think so. I'm actually confused. What feat did I just do? Because, like, we we got the Olive Tree Cudgel in Act 1. Oh, we didn't kill Yggdrasil. Oh, yeah. We got the glitch kill on him. Yeah, it didn't count that as a kill. How very interesting. We didn't have the extra 100% physical until just now. That's actually kind of crazy. Yeah, I think we just have to, you know, we, we are not taking last resistance, obviously. What I could do is I could get rid of my... Uh, I could get rid of my collection desire, or I could have. It's it's too late now, but I could have gotten rid of collection desire and floated without it for an act. But look at that. That's 175 damage percent. Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, God, my cough's getting worse. Because I'm talking. Uh. hi -yah! Also, can I hit you with another? Can I hit you with another? hi -yah! Yeah, I think I can hit you with another hi -yah. And I think I just did, so. Man, dude, Reaper runs are so fun. If only we had life change, right? Ah! What we got here? Garbage. Dude, I feel so bad for Spire Fire Spirit Salamander. It's like Undyne got a Giga buff, and Salamander just kind of sucks. <laughs> like Salamander's just like, eh. Fuck you, Salamander. You don't get shit, dog. We can't even mod in a Fire Spirit Salamander buff for him because it's like, I I'm pretty sure the modding scene isn't at that stage yet where they know how to um. Add in like sprites, you know, like 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 animations and stuff. It sucks because like I feel like a fire spirit salamander mod would get made almost instantly. No, thank you. 
Man, if this was a, a different room, we could get such good swap farming in. Even though it doesn't mean anything at this stage. Insta kill the silence is glitched dark elite. You're alive? Wow. The resilience of a demon hunter. Dead. Man, we're just fucking so good. Except that. That's that's bad, but everything else is going well. I have to remember the speed boost from uh from Victory Baton. I almost always forget it gives you an actual speed boost. It's not very good on Gravedigger. I mean um Reaper because his swap animation is so long. Um, what am I looking for here? Really nothing. Like a pot of greed would be nice, I suppose. Hopefully that didn't pick up. I apologize if it did. Oh yeah, we also need to fix our pedestals. Um, execute is good. Is this better than any wisdom I have right now? Not really. This is good. I mean, this is really good on Gravedigger. It's also really good on Reaper as well. The more consistently I can use my abilities, the better. We don't even have Go-Getter, so pass. Man, you're going to show me this now. Take that purple flirt, though. Gotta love purple flirt. Oh, I love that you can press quintessences during that. <laughs> and you can also swap during that animation, too, for the record. Also, get owned. We should probably get rid of the offensive wheel at some point. I'd like... Wait, what's my mana cycle? It's two. Okay, so I'm kind of stuck with it, at least for a little bit. If I can see a better... um, If I can see a better... Oh, this is going to determine a lot, I think. There's a lot of things here I can't take, actually. Like, this gets duped, I can't take it. Um, this gets duped, can't take it. This gets duped, can't take it. I don't know. There's a good chance I don't take whatever this is. We'll see. That's takeable. Yep. I'll take that. Heirloom 3 is kind of weird, but everything else is fine. I'm definitely not going Heirloom 4 because that ruins my Apple. And Apple is going to go hard here. Aw, oh, dude. I, I wanted that soul so bad. I could feel it in my bones. I was so ready to take his soul. I love that you can swap during that, and it still works. Like, a lot of uh, attacks in this game, if you swap during them, it eats the animation. Which is why I hate Seed Shot so much. Now I can just run around as my uh, Reaper, or my Grave Digger during that. Um, I'm going to let her out of her cage. Uh, but I'm probably not going to get anything out of it. And this is where she gives me my dear friend. Because she always does when I don't need her to. Like, I'm not even going to react to it if she does. Okay, that's... Alright, Halfling, you're not so bad. You're still pretty bad, but... You're not so bad. Still suck, though. Uh, I guess that was the right thing to do. Hmm. Alright, it's the cleric. Um, you know, not, not too, not too scary. It, you know, it's no huntress, it's no warrior. You're so fucked, lady. I, I, I don't know. It's not looking hot. It's not looking good. Oh, no, nah, it's, yeah, okay. Nice wall. Good one, uh, priestess. 
Okay, a pot of greed. Can I take a pot of greed? Some may be saying take it just for the item inside of it. I did say earlier I would want it, but when I look at my inscriptions, it's like, what do I lose? Arms? Eighty, ninety, ten. Isn't it the same? No, it's five percent more damage in my physical direction to have this because it's seventy plus forty-five, right? Yeah. But the extra magic is probably worth it. But twenty-one bone, twenty-three bone shards is uh, very tempting. Um. I'm going to take this. That's my ticket to getting the 20% amp. This complicates things even further. My pedestal right now is treasure, I think. Yes. So what I do here, ditch this. And then we buy Wisdom on the Pedestal. I think that's the correct play. There's nothing here I'd rather get rid of. Some people would probably say Victory Baton. But um, being able to swap is very good on this build. I think I, I stand by what I did. So someone may come up with a thing I didn't see. Because, like, I am very tired right now, so. I don't know. Maybe there's something I'm missing that's, like, the, in the minutia. That would be a better min-max, but I also don't care. <laughs> also, there's our remaining one. I think that's the last in... No, 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 no. Spokesman of the Mist. Spokesman of the Mist would still be nice. We got good damage. So if I'm going to die, which I am going to die, I'm going to do it against Joan. Uh, let's see if the, if this is a dupe, I don't take it. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> Thank you. The odds of seeing a net legendary here are pretty high. So, But we're not seeing skull rooms, so that could be like to make up for the lack of skull rooms we're about to fucking see in the last half of the game. The game's taking pity on me. There's nothing they can do to stand up to the power of the Reaper here. They're screwed. Come on, skull... Yeah, thank you. As many skull rooms as possible, please. Uh, that would be nice if we could lose our reassembly, which we could, but I'm still not going to. It's unhinged. It's uncouth. It's uncivilized. I will not take part in this. Give me my souls. More skull shards. We need something around like, uh, like, hang on. 135, 120. I think we need 120. I'm going to get 120 and stop, so. That's a rare. We're... <laughs> how many? Two off? Nice. You'll love to see it. Let's see if I can't get a small bone pouch here. That'll do. All right. We're no more skull rooms. Starting now. No more aut autopilot will not take over. I solemnly swear. It ain't going to happen, guys. I ain't going in the skull room. People, are, people are, are not believing me. They're doubting. Which, to be fair, in, in, in fairness to you, in the past, I have failed you. But I swear on, my, on an oath... An oath of honor. No skull rooms. See, there's a skull room right there. I'm going to pass it. See that? 
impressive, right? <laughs> it's like even when I'm even when I'm sick, I'm on my game. I'm on my game. People were people didn't believe me. If I had more time in this run, I'm sure I would have uh, at some point. I think this is a drone door, but if I had more time on this run, I would have fucked up. I'll admit. But I didn't fuck up because I didn't have enough time to fuck up. And that's still a W. That's still a W. You can't take that away from me. All right, Joan. Uh, we got to remember to die against her. So that's like my priority going in here is I'm going to get her low and then kill her. Or get her low, let her kill me, and then kill her. In that order. That precise order. I might play recklessly in phase one, even though I don't think she's going to have enough time to do anything to me. Yeah, I mean, we're going to get through this really fast. Like, if I, if I wanted to, I could just not give a fuck in the world and... Uh, nearly insta kill her, but I, I need her to kill me. In fact, let's start taking some damage because we're very high. I'm trying to let you hurt me, John. All right, you're gonna have to pick up the pace in this portion, John. I need you to hurt me. It's a necessity. I even let you summon your orbs. I didn't have to do that. All right, time to start taking some damage because. Oh, okay. No, we're fine. We have glass body. It's going to be hard to die here. She can't shred me. Fulgent Dawn's also going to be playing a bit of a spoiler here. Man, glass body is so overpowered. <laughs> Joan, fucking kill me. Please, for the love of God. You don't do enough damage, Joan. It's kind of pathetic. Okay, those hurt. Those hurt. These don't. They do if you don't have glass body, but... Alright, we're almost there. Now I have to actually play carefully because I don't want her to actually heal me. All right, beautiful. You love to see it. You really do. Now we don't get offered the, oh no, we do get off the orbs, but we also don't have go-getter here. They make a little less sense than you normally do. I think I prefer mage's mana bracelet to allow me to spend my skills more often. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. We also don't need money. I'm gonna break a Quint. Like, my items are built. We're, we're set. We don't need that shit. Money is useless. Pass. I was correct. 120. You should have an exact perfect amount. Unless I'm bad at math. Which I am. But not this time. This time I got that shit. Perfect arachno scale. You love... I mean, I'm saying that a lot. But it's true. You do love to see it. Also, let's swap to our grave or our uh, reaper here. Yeah, I wanted to get to at least 250 souls. Just because it feels good. Like, I like that number. It's a nice number. You gotta be joking. That is interesting. It kind of allows me to free up my wisdom uh, pedestal. The problem is. Um, I don't know what to buy instead. Arms? I could buy arms. We do have use for physical damage, even if it's just these. And my uh, Gravedigger basic. I think I can ditch this, though. Um, We do need arms. Okay. Arms it is. Now we have pretty even damage. Both are close to, uh, well, one, my magic is over a thousand and my physical is close. So yeah, here we go. Uh, this is my kit. It's really, really good. It's pretty much exactly what I wanted. I kind of wish I still had the wheel now 
now that I'm, uh, I don't know. It would have incentivized um, mixed damage more, but like, we still have plenty of incentivization for mixed damage with literally just the Olive Tree Cudgel alone. But also the uh, Manatech Gravity Generator. Both are very powerful items that do very good stuff. Also, hang on. I want to farm these guys a little bit. I don't think I can get it above 300 on this alone. If I do the... Um, if I do Demon King Castle Defense, I think I can get this over 300. I might be able to get this over 300 off of these guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I can. It's like, I was happy with 250 earlier, but what about 300? That's a really good number. Oh, yeah. Y'all are going to feed my soul. And there we are. You'll love to see it. So that's 300 extra damage percent. And I didn't even farm, at least after I got 150. We saw, we actually did stop farming after 150, and I still got over 300. Even with a bunch of swapping. 300 extra damage percent is a lot, just so you know. This is why I'm always emphasizing... Um, the, the, the non-need to uh, swap farm on Reaper Runs. Like, I, th I think it's something you can easily get hung up on, and you can lose a perfectly good Reaper Run just because you, like, spent a bunch of time needlessly farming uh, souls that don't do anything after a certain point. Also, yeah, we just kind of we just kind of did that. He's dead. All right, bozo. Your shit, your shit. You're not even scary anymore, man. You suck. I'm gonna let him land before I really go on him. All right, good luck, bozo. That's all I have to say about that. All right, he's immediately going into this. We're also gonna land him land here, and then we're gonna once again just go nuts. He's going to do... The oh, no. He's doing the... Okay, the guys. He's so fucked. I thought he was going to do the phase three roar. He didn't. He did the phase one roar. Oh, the meatball's here. <laughs> now it's not because I stunned it. Bye. So what do you think is going to happen to Dark Skull? You think he's going to stand a chance? On a scale from one to ten, how good do you think of a chance Dark Skull stands here? I'd still give him a 6. Or a 5. I'd give him a 5. Because if like, he wallops me during the power skull phase, he can really fuck you up. You know what? I'm going to give him a 4. A 4. That's a fair, that's a fair score. 4 out of 10. Because even if he takes away my reassembly somehow, I don't think he's killing me. And then it's just Alexander. Baby Alexander. Like, who cares about that bozo? He's nothing. Also, this is not a tibia run. I don't know what this is. Probably a scalpular run. All right, there's the apple. Increase attack speed or uh, physical attack and magic attack by just got 100. Also, excuse me, I need to get used to this microphone. Increase attack speed by 40%. Increase max HP by 50. So now we have 400 max HP. We have officially over the thousands in both uh, directions, even on Grave Digger, and uh, and we have a dream. And that dream is going to become a reality here because I'm going to destroy him. He's fucking dead. He's so insanely dead. It's crazy. Um, also, let's start out as Reaper. The starting out as Gravedigger is probably not as good. We're going to let him do his little baby attack here. And he's already just giga dying. Yeah. I don't think he's having a good one, guys. Turns out, Reaper is pretty good. Let's see if I can't stop him here. Yep. I'm thinking he's gone. And he barely did anything to me, so... Like, Power Skull form can still... And I purposefully set myself, like, right next to him. Because we have iframes on swap. I'm actually going to lay down some uh, some summons here. 
I also fucked it up a little bit there. See, this is what I mean. This is like the only chance he has at all in the whole fight is um, being able to do uh, to like stun me and, and hit me with a bunch of giga damage. But even then, he's uh, not having a good time. Be prepared for his uh, scary move. He didn't even do the scary move. Oh yeah, we're sending him straight into uh, the Giga ult. I can even do the iframe swap here. Go over here and prepare for him. <laughs> oh, poor here. Oh, poor Dark Skull. I remember when I was afraid of you, man. It wasn't even that long ago. Also, I'm going to do the iframe swap again. You can't stop me. Even if he hit me there, um, which he didn't, and we, he's dead now. But even if he hit me there, it's um, like we, we have a glass body, so he couldn't actually do anything to me. I'm going to take the scalpula here, I think. It could also be a vertebra of disbelief. In fact, it... I don't like the vertebra. I'm going to take the scapula. Uh, this thing, uh, upon using three skills, the next skill's attack damage is amplified by 55% uh, for one time. Um, the good thing about this is when I place down, I, I believe this is how it works. When I place down a summon with Gravedigger, that summon that was amplified is amplified for the entire duration it's on the battlefield. And also there's a lot of long, basically the longer your uh, your casting time is like the longer a effect is on the battlefield i think it makes the scalpula better but like the reason i don't take tibby here is because i'm not moving like ever i'm pretty much just standing in, in one spot and this isn't femur either because we don't have crit so it's also not pelvis because we're not basic attacking the usual options made no sense kind of fucked this up a little bit oh yeah i, I fucked this up quite a bit but thankfully, we'll be okay, because uh, we're strong regardless. Even if I'm not doing the wombo. Now we're doing the wombo. And you can just enjoy that L. Take the L and hold it. Alright, we're almost through this. What a... What a experienced recording while I'm as sick as I am. I'm sicker than when I had COVID, so... And it's not COVID, obviously, but it feels a lot worse, especially for making videos. My voice is like especially fucked up, which sucks. All right, let's give our uh, swap cooldown a little time here. Just so I can do the combo uh, accurately. Okay, this is the perfect uh, place to do it. And they're dead. <laughs> I don't want to spend a ton of time in phase two here. Um, I think the problem I'm running to in here and it's not really a problem. I just is going slower than I thought it would. But um we uh we don't have as enough grave generation, I don't think. Which yeah, what a real problem we're running into here, dude. We're pretty much it's over, basically. I was kinda hoping I would get the soul there. That'd be pretty funny to have the soul come out of the chest. He never stood a chance. Now, I hope the graves stay, but they probably won't because it switches maps, I think. Yeah, so we're going to run into that issue again here at the beginning of this. But, like, this thing has so much less HP than anything I've fought uh, after the gauntlet begins. So, yeah, like, we can't summon as many things as I'd like, but it also just doesn't matter. Nice move there, dude. Real fucking scary. You're a real terrifying guy. 
Please don't hurt me. Is there any way I can do this in a cool way? I think that worked. It indeed did. <laughs> GG's. Beautiful, baby. What a good windscreen. What a good run. Definitely a good run for how horrible I feel. Um, a stark contrast. Um, max damage 16, uh, 6198. I wonder where that came from. Possibly... Probably the Reap skill, whatever it's called. The one where you send the giant sl the slash. I, I probably should have looked at what it's called because it's a good thing to know. But um, I think that deals a lot of a big instance of damage if i had to, it's the only thing i can think of because we don't have like Macbeth or anything to deal big damage but um this one was just kind of crazy from the beginning immediately getting the olive tree cudgel into the um well okay the the pedestal was the masterpiece item like the the dark quartz pedestal that was the masterpiece item which isn't very good so but like i don't know we, we very quickly accumulated good items and it was just like a constant uphill from um the very beginning to the you know when we got the reaper and then it just kept scaling and scaling and scaling just kind of the perfect like powerful skull run everyone's had one of these at least once at least if you've played the game for long enough also shows the power of mixed damage which i love doing because a lot of people would be like why do you have this because you know it's only the olive tree cudgel and the magic gravity generator but like these two things alone generate a lot of damage like it's worth especially if you're only like if they're just scaling each other and that's the only commitment that you made to them like what could this have been instead right uh I, I don't know like there's a couple things it could have been but like like this 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 and this is the only physical scaling i have and it's more than enough like and it definitely justifies itself that's why i'm such a big mixed damage guy um also if you can hear talking in the background there's nothing i can do about it this microphone is a lot more powerful than the old one there was always talking in the background but it's going to be a lot more prominent now maybe i can put my hand here and cup the back of the microphone because it has like the entire way around it is like picking up audio. It's, it's very, uh, it is a professional microphone, but like it is, uh, maybe a little too professional in some instances. However, I hope you guys are enjoying the crisper audio. At least it's definitely going to take some getting used to for all of us, but it's for the best in the long run. Cause I was literally using an Amazon basics headset with a microphone on it for the first two years of my channel with, with duct tape holding the, the sides together. Cause they, it was like cheap plastic and it came apart. So, yeah, that's uh, what I was using up to this point. And the microphone, I think, had, has, like, it, it's basically, like, broken at this point. Like, it peaks a lot on the headset. And it's, like, I don't know what happened to it, but just over the course of the last month, something weird happened to it, and it wasn't working the way it used to. So I had to get a new one. So, yeah, new microphone. People were asking why I sound different. That's why. Um, But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Very fun. Very archetypical Skull of Hero Slayer uh, bullshit shenanigans. Especially when you have Reaper, it's always a blast. But honestly, I think uh, Gravedigger holds his own when it when it comes to Reaper as well. I put them both in S plus tier, I think, in my tier list. If not Gravedigger, at the very top of S. But um, he's very good. I love Gravedigger. Always been a big big advocate for him, and I think he holds his own. Like I think he very clearly held his own in this. And they also combo together perfectly. Like uh, Reap, uh, Gravedigger having no swap animation attached to him allows him to instantly take advantage of this the the time freeze that uh that reaper has when you cast that one skill so i could instantly start spamming uh summons it was so good there was these two combo together very well i imagine he'd also combo pretty well with predator anyone who who swaps in and doesn't have an animation also recruit as well but um yeah that's really all i got i gotta go rest my voice uh hope you guys enjoyed yourselves thank you guys for watching i appreciate y'all i will see you again in the next one Bye bye